Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we'll understand a few more locator strategies in Selenium Python. So we have understood about Selenium locator strategies like ID, name, XPath, and CSS selector. Now let's understand about the link text and partial link text. So to identify an element by link text or partial link text, we can use these methods here. Okay. So find element by link text or find element by partial link text and I'll explain you what exactly these means and when to use which ones okay so let's go to this same website and here so let me move back to the main website rather than login page we'll go to the yatra.com so we'll say yatra.com and here say for example I want to click on yatra for business right so this is basically our text right so if if you hover over if i just right click and inspect let's see what exactly the type of element it is right so if you see it is an anchor okay so it starts with a so that's an anchor tag and then it has some text within it okay so the text is basically yatra for business okay so this text i can basically use to click on yatra for business okay or say for example if i want to click on offers i can click on inspect and i can use this offers text right to click on the offers so let's go and see yatra for business first and see that we can use this Yatra for business text to click on this particular text, right? So here, if I go to selectors hub, you will see, let me inspect again. It will give you link text as well, right? So link text and then partial link text. Okay. So, but in the partial link text, you can see that it is not unique. So Yatra for business, it is not unique. It is showing like three element with this particular partial link text. So let's see what three elements are there. So if I copy this and I will simply here come here and paste it. So you can see seven, almost seven are there, right? So that's why I'm saying that before you go ahead and rely on the tool completely, you have to ensure that you know how to use the tool and the background behind using the tool. So understanding is very important, right? So here it clearly shows, which is very helpful that it is not unique. So you have to basically make sure what link text you are trying to use and how you can use it. Okay. So now how we can click on this particular link. Let's go to PyCharm. I'll simply copy the same code, create a new file and I will say demo find element okay so what i'll do is i'll cover link text and partial link text in both both in this particular tutorial okay so now in order to click on the element by link text so what we are opening here is we are opening riatra.com and we want to click on yatra for business okay so we will change this url here so we are not going to the login page we are going to the main website and we simply have to use the method find element by and we want to find element by link text right so there is a link text that we can utilize and the link text is this particular link text okay which we can clearly copy from the selectors hub as well so i've simply copied with by clicking on this icon and i will use this link text here okay so i can simply put the link text and what this method will do is it will basically identify this particular web element by the text that is there for that particular link and i'm not going to send the keys because this is not a text box so i'll simply say dot click okay so click is the method that will click on that particular link which has this particular name or the value okay so let's run this and see this in action so opening the browser it opened the main website and then it should click on yatra for business so you can see it has clicked on the yatra for business and it is navigated to the business page and close the browser okay so that's how you will use find element by link text now what is partial link text okay now say for example you are basically on this particular website okay and there is something 
uh, or some text that you want to use which is which is dynamically generated so there is some static part to it and then there is some dynamic part so in that particular case whatever static part is there for that particular link you can use it as a partial link text okay so say for example in yatra for business if i right click and inspect if say for example yatra for is static and then rest is dynamically generated then i can say use partial link text and provide yatra for business or uh, sorry yatra for and then use the method partial link text okay so let me copy this and we'll simply say instead of link text i will say by change it so i will say by partial link text okay and instead of giving the full link text i'll say simply say yatra for okay let's see if it works so if i run this it will open the browser open yatra.com and should click on yatra for business right it has clicked on that okay so even though this particular link was not unique right so this partial link text was there at many different places okay so how did it work so basically what happens is the first element so usually if there are multiple web elements okay so let me click and show you if there are multiple web elements that are basically identified by the partial link text okay so what happens is the first web element that will be found by this particular partial link text will be clicked okay so that's why this was the first web element in the on the page basically that satisfied the condition of partial link text yatra for that we have used and it has clicked on it okay so that's basically what link text and partial link text is so for the particular web elements say for example holidays you want to click if you inspect this holidays is the text right so i can use this text to basically click on holidays okay so i can simply say holidays and i can simply say either partial link text or text if i want to use partial link text i can simply say holiday and remove the ys and run it and it should open the browser open yatra.com and click on that holiday icon All right so you can see it has clicked and closed okay so let me check again yeah so once i clicked on it it opened this particular window even manually right so that was successful if i run again you will see the same result that we achieved from the manual click so you can see we we'll click on holidays and then it says book domestic and international holidays okay it will wait for four seconds and close the window so that's basically how you will use link text and partial link text and what's the significance so if there are certain web elements which have the text so you can use link text and partial link text to work or to basically interact with those web elements on the web page so that's all for this tutorial on how to identify web elements by link text and partial link text in selenium web driver with python i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching